in today's video, I want to talk to you about, you know, women, the daughters of Zion that choose to dress like harlots. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, you will see that women that go out of their way to dress like harlots and you have to go out of your way to dress like that. You'll realize that these women do not righteously win or prosper. Okay, man, I saw a video of Megan Thee Stallion. This was today on the Shannon Sharp show, you know, and Megan Thee Stallion was sitting up there in damn near a bikini top, you know, revealing to the world what the Most High Yah has told her to cover. And I said, man, we're looking at another daughter of Zion that's going to end up just like Vivica A. Fox. There's not a bunch, there's not a, a, a whole gang of righteous men out there. Righteous men, set apart men, men that have understanding are not signing up to marry women like uh, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Vivica A. Fox, Kim Kardashian. You gotta look at it. Kim Kardashian, known harlot, chooses to dress like that and look at how she operated in her house. You know, this is a woman that tore up her house. The word says a wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish woman teareth it down. Tore up her house and then uh, was appealing to the court of public opinion as if she was a struggling single mother. Okay, you had uh, Russell Wilson's wife, Sierra, choosing to dress like a harlot. Every time you see that man, that man looks sad. That's a sad stepdaddy. And what I want you to realize, when you look at Proverbs chapter 7, verses 10 through 12, it talks about a woman that came in the attire of a harlot, came in uh, the attire that was sexually explicit, came in the attire that was sexually provocative. And one thing about these women is they set snares for people's soul. The Most High Yah gave a woman a very powerful tool. It's her body and her sex appeal. He also gives you guidance on how to righteously use that. A harlot does not righteously use the power that the Most High Yah gave her. She uses it for wickedness and ultimately to defile herself, to be a whore herself. You can use what the Most High Yah gave you uh, in marriage, you know, in the statuses to be a wife, to be an ish, to be a, a, a concubine, but these women are selling themselves to be 304s, to be harlots, to be side pieces. Meanwhile, uh, a man step out on them, they want to call him a cheater, but they're promoting the same lawlessness that they hate. That's double-minded. These women are unstable in all their ways. And what happens is these women go out of their way to choose to dress like this because they want the attention, you know, they want to be uh, considered the baddest B-I-T-C-H amongst the lawless women. And you have to ask yourself, are you possibly uh, keeping yourself single? Ain't no man trying to raise no kids with no woman like Meg Megan the Stallion at best will be a baby mama. Will be a baby mama. 
You don't even have a man that will uh, elevate her to the status of concubine. Why? Because she got harlot ways, just like a bunch of other women. And these women don't get it. You got to look, Vivica A. Fox spent her younger years trying to be a sex symbol. Where did it get her? She's 60 years old, now ready to marry. People are looking at, no matter how much makeup and all of this and the whoredoms you can tell by her eyelids, Vivica A. Fox is the equivalent to a box of raisins, shriveled up. You know, you don't use raisins to make new wine. You use fresh grapes. And these women, when they defile themselves, this is why you have to cover it up so much. The word says the whoredom of a woman may be known through her eyelids. All of this stuff that I speak on, it always goes back to harlot cultures. Let me be able to deceive a man. You gotta think about a harlot. She has sex for money. Let me, let me, let me uh, externally adorn myself. Let me show off a little bit of breast, a little bit of uh, 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 boobies. Let me show off a little bit of, of under butt, butt cheek. You know, let me show my belly off. Let me always stick my tongue out and show my tongue ring. What for? To be able to get a man that's hardworking to spend his money on you and not have the understanding of there's no value there other than sinful pleasure, fornication. And when you look at these women, their message, you see these women dressed like harlots. Man, I don't care. I don't care what they tell you about their relationship with Yah, you are not seeing the fruit of righteousness. You are seeing a woman, and men definitely see this, you are seeing a woman that is rebellious, that refuses to submit to authority. She's not gonna respect her head. The word says, obey them that have rule over you. They don't want nobody to have rule over them. When you look at the culture of all these piercings and nose piercings and tongue piercings, when you look at the, 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 the origins of that, it is to promote a rebellious nature. None of that is in righteousness. And women get on here in my comments and get mad all the time, but guess what? I'm a happily married man, happily married man. And I'll be damned uh, if my wife goes out uh, in the world looking like this, when the word, when when if she claims to love the most high y'all and you going out here butt naked, come on. Somebody got to be a lie and somebody has to have the truth. But oftentimes women don't know why, uh, why, they, why they're single, why they're struggling. There was just recently uh, a judge who was arrested, a black judge, highly educated woman, you know, doesn't understand why she's going through the struggle she's going through. This woman, rather than fulfilling her duties as a judge and going to a meeting, she was canceling meetings that were on the taxpayer dollars to go get her nails done and to go get facials and all of that. I'm telling you, this behavior is systemic and is very prevalent. This is why the Daughters of Zion are, are dead last because See, when you move as a covered woman, you're gonna realize all of the blessings uh, restoring to you, coming back to you. But if you continue to move to and move as a harlot, you, you are, you're gonna have to be independent. Nobody's gonna insure you. Nobody's gonna cover you. Nobody's gonna try to remove the blame off of you as a as a as a man or as a husband when you as a woman want all the blame by how you conduct yourself and the, the attire says it all. You gotta look at it. You know, a woman don't have no problem uh, abusing herself, transgressing against the Most High Yah. Had no problem with it in the garden. You know, and the Most High Yah giving you his instruction, giving you somebody to tell you what to do, and you flat out going against it. And oftentimes, this leads, like I said, a lot of kids that, that, that are raised up in these broken holes, how did it, how did a man get his snaring soul? By laying down with the harlot. This woman with fair speech, you know, her smell good, putting your head all in between her breasts and uh, you not trying to fulfill no duty. She damn sure didn't want to fulfill no righteous duty. You lay down with her and make a baby. This is how this stuff goes on generationally. See, you got daughters of Zion that look up to 
uh, heathen-minded women like Kim Kardashian, like Megan Thee Stallion, and I'm telling you, the, 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 the painful truth, most women can't handle. You might have men that lust after you and that's the only reason why they're there, but these men will never fulfill a duty to you. Why? Because you operate as a cum dumpster. Why? You operate as a sperm receptacle. And you are, you are the worst kind of soil uh, to, for a man to plant seed in. You gotta think, between choosing organic, uh, soil, compost, and then you got this soil that's all defiled with, with, with motor oil and chemicals, and you bring forth a child. This is why a lot of women uh, birth children and have issues. Because you're calling it a blessing, meanwhile, while the Most High Yah is calling it wickedness. Women gotta quit uh, supporting this lawless culture. Yeah, girl, you look good. Where you get that from? Women get jealous over harlots. Ooh, she got all the attention, man. I I just need a little attention. No, you stay a plain Jane. Let me tell you something. Shepard Dow said it best in his Sabbath teaching. You'll be better off with a woman that's a solid four five, a solid four or five plain Jane than you would with one of these harlots. You'd be better off. You're not gonna have these problems with her submit, submitting and all of that. Why? Because she's humble. A woman that gets out there and operates in the capacity of a harlot is not humble. She does not have humility. She's operating in a delusion that she has become something that if we strip all that down, you're really gonna see insecurities. You're not gonna see any of this confidence. Once we remove the weed, the long nails, the boobs, the BBLs, all of that, you're dealing with some insecure, scared women. That's what you're dealing with. That are the furthest thing away from righteousness. And until uh, they get to that level of humility and get away from that vanity, their walk will never be righteous. Women wonder why men don't choose them. And I told women I, in a video, if you don't believe men are getting married, go down to the courthouse, go down to the justice of the peace and watch and you'll realize it's not that men aren't getting married men are wising up and men aren't wifing you up men don't want to be attached to you why because your rebellion is shown in your appearance closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight